Because you're the one that told us to always do something we love. You know what racing cars cost? Look around. It's not our world, son. Wait! Before we get started in this fast-paced film that's in theaters right now, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. Gran Turismo is a true story that's based on a video game. And it is not just a game, it is a racing simulator, okay? The true life story of Jan Martinborough, who is played video games all the time, raced everything, and he has this opportunity to get into this competition that uh, picks the best drivers from this game to be able to play for Nissan. And I'm just gonna say, I thought this movie was better than it should have been <laughs> because from the trailer, Boy, did that trailer make it look like something extremely generic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, to me, I thought the movie was very generic. I, I mean, I thought it was very painted by the numbers, which is weird because I feel like the real life story is not nearly as generic -y and painted by the numbers as the movie depicts it, de depicts it as. But you're right. This is a movie adaption of a video game, but they're in on this one is that it's based on a true story. Okay, actually, mm -hmm. it's th it's th they want you to believe that this is based on a true story. So much so, the movie is actually called Gran Turismo, based on a true story. That's the that's the full title, full title of yeah. the movie. Mm -hmm. The only problem with that is this movie is has a lot of fiction in it. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So you much so, fix. fiction. Fiction. Oh, so okay. much so that I'm not sure if it's fair to say this is based on a true story. First things first, David Harbour's character, the one of the main characters, probably number two in the whole movie, didn't exist. That's not a real guy. He he is not a he is not a real human. That is someone mm -hmm. they created just for this movie, which mm -hmm. changes everything. I feel like for the movie because he is such a central character. But of course, our main character Jan is real, and I believe he's still currently racing. I, be I, I believe still racing. Yeah, thirty uh, years old. You're right, and like you said, he grew up playing Gran Turismo. The movie very carefully, very carefully. Make sure you never see the fact that he's playing on a PlayStation Three. They just, they just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like breeze by it, right? Because they don't want you to, they don't want you to see that. Which brings, yeah. which brings me to another issue I have in the movie. The reason why they don't want you to see it is because this movie's really trying to sell you PlayStation. Oh my God! It wants you to buy a PlayStation right now. <laughs> it wants you to buy a PlayStation. Yeah. It wants you to buy Walkman. Mm. It wants you to buy Puma. It wants you to buy mm -hmm. a Nissan. This movie is more ad than it is movie and it's more fiction than it is fact now does this matter i would say probably not if the movie was truly exceptional but i don't think that's what we have here this movie to me was fine you know this was not a bad movie i found myself being excited in the parts i was supposed to be excited in and i thought and i found myself being sad in the parts that i was supposed to be sad in it's pretty much for me paint by the numbers which as you said is actually an improvement because I agree with you. That trailer looked terrible. They cut together <laughs> one of the worst trailers I've seen in years. I was like, is this real? That's what I couldn't believe. <laughs> I think that's what I said during my reaction over on Europe Nation Reactions. Please mm -hmm. go over there and subscribe. I noticed that I saw two films this year that had to deal with racing. And that other film was Fast X. Mm -hmm. Okay. I appreciate it that, that this film, whether it be based on a true story, true, true story or not, it gave me thrills. It gave me the feel. It gave it gave me pristine good acting and, and and care from each character. It gave depth to make you feel like you care about these characters. There were some needle drops in this in this film, but the main thing that we hate about needle drops here is that when you play a song that has no connection to the film itself, these songs had connections to the characters and through their through line in their story. Right. Okay, <laughs> and they connected <laughs> vaguely to the game. I'm sure you've played Gran Turismo because you're a gamer. I <laughs> have as well. But for those who haven't, Gran Turismo is nothing like this movie. Gran Turismo is slow, right? It's very, yeah. it's, kind of, it's slow. It's kind of methodical. People think of it as kind of a nerdy, dorky game where you kind of like you're like tweak, tweaking things. And while that's happening, mm. sometimes there's like smooth jazz playing in Gran Turismo. <laughs> so I, I can see how, you know, our main character, they show Jan listening to smooth jazz before each Kenny race. Kenny G. Yep, Kenny G. So I'm like, okay, I see the wink, wink, nod, nod. But it's also interesting that the movie does not 
talk a lot about how I guess gearheady and ticky tacky the actual game is in the movie. They have a couple throwaway lines, but they don't try to recreate that from the movie. The movie's mm. way more tonally in line with um, um, Need for Speed than it is with the gearheady ticky tackiness of Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo really is about holding the line and it's about finding little, fi- finding these little creases, about tweaking your t- tweaking your tail fin or whatever the fuck it's a spoiler uh, until until you get <laughs> until you get just the right downdraft on each car, right? That mm-hmm. that's what makes for, for me. That's that's how I understand it. That's what Gran Turismo fans like about that game is the, is is mm-hmm. how granular you, you can tweak and tweak your cars right it's not really about big explosions and crashes and going fast <laughs> it's not really about that right but this movie makes it seem like it even to a point where they're even like there's even like a graphic displayed on the screen and we're going to talk about the plot here in a second but there's even a graphic di- displayed on the screen that says police invaded just like need for speed and i'm like that does <laughs> not happen in gran turismo my friends so i thought that was kind of interesting the movie really <laughs> It's trying to sell you Gran Turismo, but if you actually played it, Gran, Tur- Gran Turismo, if if Need for Speed is rock music, Gran Turismo is classical. And that's not that's not exactly what happened in this film. There's a scene that's in this that's in this film. He is on the actual track after he is selected to be into this competition. And he's in the seat with David Harbour. And David Harbour is talking about, break, break, turn right now. And he's like, it ain't the right time to turn right now because I've done this several times in this particular car and I know the braking system. And it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. And he's like, yo, those those brakes are, what do you say, glassed? Glazed. Or, or glazed. And, and the, the technician who checked it out, he's like, yeah, those brakes were glazed. So he knows about the cars and he knows about the cars because of how tech savvy Gran Turismo is. Right, now, how that, parti- that game is, right. Yeah, yeah. Now that particular scene that Devin was just talking about, it was very video gamey, <laughs> very non um, uh, Gran Turismo, kind of like Test Drive, kind of like Midnight Midnight Club, right, right. <laughs> you know, like that. And that that does take you out of a bit when you are a person who has played these games, uh, games a bit. Yeah, but, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it took me out. It's just like, I'm not even sure if it's really a negative. It's just like an observation. As someone who's played G- Gran Turismo, I'm like, this is this feels more like a different game, right? I think you can make a movie that's more about the specifics and the mechanics of the car and how it handles. I think, I think you can make that movie exciting. But the fact that they didn't attempt, right, is an interesting observation. I don't, I'm not sure that's necessarily yeah. a positive or a negative for the movie. It's just not what I was expecting. Now that I, since I know what Gran Turismo is, yeah, but then you gotta understand. Then we have to go into the part like, what was they trying to convey to their audience? What were they trying to say? They weren't trying to go for the ticky tacky stuff. That's why no. they skipped over that scene with the with, with the, bl- the thing. Mm-hmm. They wanted to sell you a based on true story of Jan uh, what uh, Martinborough. There's a point in this story where he is racing at this extremely dangerous lap. <laughs> That he gets into a, a accident, right? And this actually did happen because right. I saw I saw the footage, and they recreated that footage for the film. Dang near close to what it was actually happened. He uh, he did kill someone, mm-hmm. and he and and in the film, the character felt like it was his fault, and I was like. That is some riveting acting right there. I have never seen this kid before in my life in anything. And he did a great job. David Arbor did a good job, too. You know, my only problem with that scene was while there really was a crash and someone really a bystander really did die. It didn't happen in the in the way that the movie depicted it. The movie made it seem like this was a brand new driver and this was just a defining moment for him. Like, oh, man, should I continue with my career? No. In real life, Jan was pretty deep into his career already. He was years, years deep. And yeah. so for them to move, at least five, yeah. So for them to move that incident up to make it a character development moment when it was a real tragedy, someone actually died, like for real, and they're taking a real human's death and making it a a character development moment. I've heard some people argue that that was uh, distasteful for, for for them to do that. Um, that that moment meant a lot more 
to the sport and it meant something different to Jan himself. So, and this is kind of my issue with the movie, right? Like, if it says based on true story, I understand. They're not going to do it beat for beat, right? Life mm-hmm. is boring, right? That's Life is kind of boring. So, yeah, yeah, you have, to, you have to, like, edit it, right? You have to edit it out and smooth things around. Mm-hmm. But they moved things around so much and created new characters to the point that um, it almost makes it... I feel like I don't know the real life yawn at all like <laughs> after watching that movie you're not really getting a good a good idea of who this who this guy was the only part and this is probably what i think is probably the most, the most important part though the only part that you really understand about yawn is that yes he was a gamer and yes he became a race car driver literally everything else in the movie is fuzzy some of it's fake a lot of it's fake some of it's not true some of it's been remixed to the point where i'm not sure um if 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 putting based on a true story in the title is uh, very honest, <laughs> yeah that 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 does make a little sense there, man. Devin said earlier that this film is trying to sell you something. It's definitely trying to sell you a PlayStation. Okay, every time something happens within the race where it shows you the positioning of Jan in the race, it will stop. And if you're a PlayStation and Sony player, you know the sound, which is. It's like, oh, look at that. They're putting a, a video game sound in here to let you know that this is a Sony product. And I thought, like, that's 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 funny. I recognize that. That is a member berry for me. Right. And so, like, I was really going back and forth in the movie. If I was OK with the amount of ads that are in this thing, it is a lot. It It is so much. This might be the most amount of ads I've ever seen in a singular movie in my life. What about the Fiji bottle? Remember the Fiji bottle? Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was just egregious. But that was just one thing, right? There's so many products in this movie that was that were that were just like jammed in your face with their labels facing right at you. <laughs> but at the at the end of the movie, I came to the conclusion that in any other movie, I think I would hate that. I would truly hate it, and I would really be, I would really knock off a lot of points for it. But in racing, kind of being a walking ad is kind of racing right? it's all over the cars yeah, it's all over it's your kind, suits it's, it's kind all of <laughs> part of the sport so i'm like okay mm-hmm. fine although it really is egregious there is the whole movie stops Tyra. the whole movie stops ice cold to tell us about the brand new walkman oh my god it stops cold as you can see i'm giving this movie a lot of passes more passes than i think i would give most other movies and that's because at the end of the day when it was all combined I did it. I did enjoy the movie. I did. I did like it. I liked. I liked the idea of this under this underdog guy uh, beating all the odds, beating all the assholes, and becoming a real racer. And as a matter of fact, one of the things I also liked was they didn't really hide the fact that he didn't actually come in first, right? Like, like ever. No. <laughs> right? No. He was just no, 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 one no, no, guy no. in the pack, right? They're not saying that he's like the greatest racer of all time. They're just saying he became a racer. And I'm like, okay, that's not so bad. And and, and so, it's, so some of that kind of reminds me of Rocky. You know how Rocky loses mm-hmm. at the end of Rocky. My issue with the movie are, are the advertisements and how it's edited. It was edited like a psychopath edited this thing. Mm. It was like... <laughs> Right, and, and and it's edited so fast that um, I I couldn't help but stop to look at some of the the shots, right? And some of the shots are just weird. It's just like a hand. It's just it's just they'll just it just randomly cut into like a hand on a wall or something. It's like some of the weirdest edits. I'm like, who edited this thing? It's, it's kind of part of the language that you get when you have a Neil Bloomkamp movie, right? Yeah. Once once upon a time, Neil Bloomkamp was the greatest director of all time. After after District Nine, everyone thought isn't he everyone was, who directs something big? Of course, of course. Especially <laughs> when his first big one is just like District Nine, something so, something that people really loved. Uh, I feel like District Nine is aged a little hard, and he is, his follow up Elysium wasn't that great. Chappie wasn't that great. But I do think this is better than Chappie, and I do think this is better than Elysium. So I I can see some progression here with Neil Bloomkamp. And this movie, I don't think it's like a waste of your time. You know, it's it is a occasionally exciting movie, and the fact that at least that center, that core is real, where a kid, a gamer grew up to become a racer, at least that part is real. You can kind of forgive a lot of the um, liberties this movie takes. Did you notice who Jan's mom was? Nah, but- Ginger Spice. Oh shit! 
Oh. <laughs> His mom was Ginger Spice. I haven't I seen was that. I like, is she an actress now? It, I, apparently she I, is. Hey, I haven't seen her before. She told me what she want. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't give it to her because I was too young. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 but it, it did feel like that she had more lines and it cut them. I felt I felt like I felt like a lot of her performance got cut out. Yeah, like, yeah. Her her biggest performance was when Yan Yan got into a uh, the, the accident and she was like, my baby. I, I was I was in this theater tearing up on some of the parts when it came to Jim and Hanzu's relationship with Yan with how I felt like. Uh, David Harbour's character, Jack Salter, was like the dad that he never had <laughs> in the first place to support right. him doing this, you know? Uh, even though his father was not very supportive. His no. father <laughs> seems to have failed a lot at a lot of different things in his life. And he was kind of hoping one of his kids might succeed playing soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when Jan had no interest in soccer and, more, and he had much more interest in playing uh, a video game, his father was very disappointed and he had no, he did, his father didn't really support him until he could finally prove that he was serious about this. Uh, yeah. Not just, not just gaming, but racing. Yeah. And, and then becoming very successful at it. But of course the dad has an arc. He's got, he, ironically, the dad has an arc, but Jan doesn't. Yeah. I don't think Jan has any arc at all. He's, he's more or no. less, a, he's doing the blank slate thing like a blue beetle. But, uh, Jaiman Hansu's character, the father, he has an arc where he starts off not caring about, uh, the video game thing, having no um, interest in his son's uh, interest to finally coming around to realizing that, oh, I was wrong and I should have supported you from the beginning. And I'm so mm -hmm. glad you found your passion. I'm so glad you didn't actually need me, that kind of thing. And actually, I like that a lot. To me, I, for me, that was the most interesting part of the film. I, I've actually found that more interesting than a lot of the, um, the racing. Going into this film, I didn't think that I was going to like this film. You know, I came into this, I'm like, yeah, man, the racing just looks pretty cool. And and uh, the acting was done very well. Um, it had it had depth to it, to the characters. The direction was, was, was really good. I just enjoyed it. I did. I, I had a good time and it made me feel things. So, and That's people great. in my theater was cheering, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? And uh, I just want to go ahead and give this film a B plus. Great. I'm giving this one a B. I thought this was a serviceable film. It's very fine. In a month, I'll have forgotten I watched it because I feel like I've watched this movie before. There's really nothing special about this movie except the general premise that a gamer becomes a racer. Beyond that, there's nothing. And you get the gamer becomes a racer thing in the trailer, right? So <laughs> so beyond that, there's Badly nothing. Badly edited trailer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Terrible trailer. But beyond that, there's really not much here. But I did think it was clever, uh, if you're going to make a GT game, that this is how you did it, right? I thought that was a, mm -hmm. a clever end to a Gran Turismo game. But I, I think I am very sensitive to all the ads. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that stuff, man. I, I, it really bothers me. But again, for this movie, this might be the one type of film where it might be, or at least I'll say, I, it might, this might be one type of film where I can let it slide, right? Because again, mm -hmm. racing is just all about advertising. It's, 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 it's not like you're going to see, you know, Jason Voorhees out here with a Coca-Cola jacket on. And then, right, <laughs> right, exactly. You know, exactly. Trying to kill people with some type of new brand that should, uh, uh, machete yeah, you can only get chainsaw from, or something. from, <laughs> from, right. from Macy's. Right, right. <laughs> But so, this movie was that, though, right? There was a character who walked around with a Walkman, got his Walkman updated. They had all these close-ups of Puma shoes and just the, the amount of, I mean, my God, the amount of ads are insane. Um, but th this movie was fine. It was very, it was, it was serviceable. It felt workmanlike. <laughs> you know, it's like, here is the movie, right? We didn't make any egregious mistakes. There's, there's, there's nothing uh, particularly offensive about the film. It's just like, here it is. And if that's something you like, okay. Great. There are also lots of the winks and nods, like you said, to the game itself, where uh, mm -hmm. there are parts or, like the game does this sometimes when you go in the garage, the, the, the car will like explode and you explode. can see all, see all little pieces of the car, yeah. you know, so they they, they, they they do that as well in the game, excuse me, in the movie. They even have some of the angles, like from the like the top down behind angles uh, from the game. That's but, my favorite kind. I don't do the in car. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> But again, like, I, there's no way, there is no way by the end of this year, I'm going to remember I saw this movie. Would you recommend this film for people to see? 
uh, at home. Yes, I say stay home, watch it at home. You'll have a grand old time. Going to the theater to see this? Not really. And judging by the box office, it looks like a lot of people stayed home. Although I think a lot of that has to do with that unfortunate trailer. I'd say go see this film. There's nothing egregious going into the theater, feeling the thumping of the speakers and everything, and being with people who was enthusiastic for seeing it, and, and to clapping and the cheering and laughing and stuff in the film. It is a shame. The budget for the film was $60 million. They only made 17 million this weekend, but hey, dude, who knows? <laughs> Can I complain for a second in a very public fashion? My theater messed up the projection for this film. The projection was bad, and I'm going to say it because I was frustrated. I noticed it in one of the commercials. What? The top part of my screen was cut off. So, like, sometimes when they would have a little arrow point down, like, and point out an eraser, you know, like, just like they do in the mm -hmm. GT game, I couldn't read it. Because the, the top the top of my screen was point was cut oh, off, man. so I, I I'm not that that does not affect my rating of the movie. I just I was very frustrated <laughs> by how the, the projection was bad, and, and it made me feel like this is why I have turned away from theaters. I used to be the number <laughs> one theater going guy in the world. I used to be like, go to movies, it's a whole <laughs> great experience. Experience. Now I'm frustrated because my projector is fine. I can they can't get theirs fine. <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, in my theater, um, it almost started late. Oh, really? <laughs> it almost started late because the previous one was was playing still. Oh, <laughs> they didn't that's get their time. They almost got the tam times wrong. I <laughs> my my theater. Uh, my movie started at one fifteen. I'm walking in there at one o'clock. It's like, it's a, it's still at the last scene. I'm like, what's going on? Crazy. <laughs> These theaters, they gotta get it together, yo. This is one of the one of many reasons, but one of the reasons why I think people don't go to the theater because the experience can be um, hit or miss. More importantly, do you recommend this film? Have you seen Gran Turismo? Please get us in the comments and let us know what you thought about it. All right? I know this track because I can't stop. Man. I've raced it a thousand times. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video, man. It has been a pleasure doing these movie reviews for you and you guys talking to us in the comments. And thank you so much. Yeah, we All love right? hearing from you. We love hearing from you. Wild fungus, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are new to seeing our faces, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. All right. Hey, and if you did like this rating and review, please hit that thumbs up. Or you can hit that thumbs down. Whichever you choose, it is your opinion. Just remember one thing. It's mostly wrong. See you in another video. Peace out. <laughs>